Well, I've heard some rather disturbing reports about you. Such as? Such as the fact that you're spending so much time with people who are nothing but communists. Oh, nothing but communists. Well, maybe there's nothing but communism for people who aren't afraid to think. Look, Dad, if you want to find out how I stand on anything, just ask me. Don't waste your time by listening to a lot of stool pigeons. You don't know what you're saying, Paul. You don't know what communism really means. No, but I'm learning. And what I'm learning makes more sense to me now than anything I've ever learned before. Your world is dying, Dad. And it's burying itself in the dry rot of imperialism and colonialism. Communism is building a new world right in front of your eyes, and you can't see it. I saw communism at work before you were born, Paul. I remember the horrible, senseless violence, the bitterness. I saw the terror in Kiel and Berlin. You remember a man named Hitler? That's where your violence came from. But people like you couldn't see that either until it was too late. Paul, let's not crawl about history. Think about America, our country. It's been good to us. Well, with all this happened. I remember when you made that speech a Fourth of July picnic when I was about 12. And it sounded great then. But somehow you flight we would never get around to, to mentioning wars and oppression, big business government, bigotry, Middle Eastern oil, a China lobby. What's the matter? Don't you read between the headlines? No matter what you say, Paul, and no matter how big our problems are, they're still the most important thing of all. We have freedom here. Freedom to make what we can of our own lives. Freedom to conform. Freedom to make the proper responses when somebody pushes the propaganda button. 